I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing something extremely exciting and we're going to be trying out the Dermacol Makeup Cover Foundation. I have been seeing this absolutely everywhere and I decided this time to actually order something that everyone was going crazy for so I'm so excited to try it out. Recently my skin has been so bad, like there's a lot of pigmentation, spots, breakouts and dark circles because my iron has been extremely low. I am going to be starting some like iron tablets and stuff like that so hopefully everything will sort itself out but that means that this is sort of like the perfect time to try out this baby because y'all you know we got a lot of stuff to cover up. I'm also going to go ahead and try it out on my tattoo as well so don't forget to check that out and keep on watching this video to see how well this foundation does and if it's worth it. I only paid £7.49 I think it was so below £8 and I've been seeing amazing reviews so let's get straight into it and try it out for ourselves. Before we go into testing out the foundation I'm just going to read out some of the benefits. The first one is that it's waterproof which is obviously freaking amazing. Hypoallergenic and it's for all skin types. There's SPF 30 in and it's preservative free. Yes I'm reading this bad boy off my phone because I didn't want to forget anything. The coverage is full and in brackets it actually says it's extreme so that is like every girl's freaking dream. Um, the finish outstanding coverage with a velvety matte look. If this is matte, I just squirted a little bit out and it's quite smelly in a nice way though. It smells really nice but I don't know if that would affect anybody so I'm just going to pop it out onto my skin. I have got quite a lot there but yes. Ah and it's filled out, it's squeezing out on its own. Like if I leave that you will see that it's moving and actually coming out on its own. I hate products that do that and I don't know why it does that. I think it's because it's in a metal tube. Like this packaging is like metal. I don't know why. I have no idea why. Um, anyway so let's get into it. I am going, I've already primed my face, I used the Freedom Makeup Pro Studio Oil Base Control all over my face and my face is washed as well so that is a great way to start any makeup application. So I'm just showing you what it looks like close up and then you can sort of get a feel for it. So yeah it is quite a thick consistency um, but it's still, I don't know, it's a bit funny. Yeah. It's a thick consistency but very manoeuvrable, if that makes sense. And it's got a quite a strong perfume as well. Oh my god. Yes, this colour is actually looking okay. So I'm just going to put it on my face with a foundation brush. And then once I've done that... Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy shit. I'm actually just painting my whole face like I'm getting carried away because what the hell. Man, what the hell. I think I put too much out because I've still got like a ton left of like I'm wearing a mask right now like dang. I can't believe how far that's actually going. And my eyes are so dark right now from like the low iron and everything. It looks really crazy, man. It looks crazy. So, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out, hopefully. I mean, I've spread it everywhere. And that feels like super, super lightweight on the skin. You'd think that that would like be so heavy and feeling really cloggy, but it really doesn't. It feels like I've got nothing on my, on my skin. I don't know why I'm doing that. I'm sort of like seeing if I can feel it moving, but honestly, it feels like there is nothing at all on my skin. 
What the hell? It looks extremely shiny. Extremely shiny. I don't know if you can see that. Look how much I've got left as well, and I've done my full face. I've just got a little bit left to do my forehead. I'm actually in shock, like, with how... Awesome that is, like, what the hell? I've just moved you a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. I don't know why I had you so far away, to be fair. I need a bit more there, I can sort of like see. I don't think it's picking it up on camera, but I can see it's a bit darker. Here, I, I haven't put any concealer on or anything like that. Okay guys, so that is the foundation completely applied and I think it looks absolutely gorgeous so far. I haven't set it with any powder yet and as you can see it's quite like oily, shiny and a dewy finish. It doesn't, I mean there is a little bit of stickiness feeling there without setting it but it's not like major. You could totally go out like this if that's the kind of finish you like for your foundation. Um, I really do like my foundation to be as matte as it can possibly go. So I'm going to go ahead and set it with some Laura Mercier translucent powder and then we will we'll see how it looks after I have done that. Okay guys, so that is the foundation set with a powder and oh my god I actually love it it feels so lightweight there is I swear to god it feels like I've got nothing on my skin whatsoever and that does not feel sticky at oh god there's a bit of powder on my face so now let's get down okay mm -hmm. yeah so you cannot feel any stickiness whatsoever when I do that, there's nothing there. The coverage is extreme, however, I mean, I haven't added any concealer or anything like this on top. I've literally just powdered my face to mattify the foundation and see how it would finish. But I can still see some blemishes coming through. I mean, I didn't put as much on my forehead, I do admit, than I did like around the bottom half because I wasn't sure how much or how little I would need. But, um, yeah, I can still see little bits, but it's not in a bad way. Like, I don't think that that spoils the makeup. I don't think it's an issue whatsoever. So, it definitely is full coverage, and it's covered everything that I needed it to cover. It's covered the darks, well, from what I can see. I don't know, still some darkness there, but I've not had any concealer. Um, yeah. It is definitely worth it. For under £8, I mean guys, if you want this, on my experience when things go viral on YouTube or Instagram or in like the beauty industry and it goes like mega and sells out, if you're thinking of trying it, just get it now, even if you're not going to try it for like a couple of months because it will have doubled in price by the time you come to get it. Seriously, I've done it before. Like the blackhead peeling mask I was going to buy that and it was I think it was like three quid and now it's like 15 quid for the same one for the exact same one but anyway just letting you guys know that if you're thinking about to try it then I would order it now if you can but yeah I am loving it so I will be right back in a second to tell you more okay now I'll finish my makeup Okay guys, so this is my final makeup look for this video. I really, really hope that you enjoyed it. I absolutely finally loved filming some makeup because it has been a long, long time. A long, long time since I have actually done it. I'm looking at my viewfinder and it's looked blurry this whole video. Like, I don't know if it's because I'm going blind or something, but if this is all blurry, 
I am so sorry. I've tried to focus it and I thought that I had, but it still is looking super, super blurry. So forgive me for that, okay? Okay, honey. Um, I will have the Makeup Revolution third birthday vlog going up. It should be after this after this video. No, it should be before this video because we went two nights ago, I think it was. It was absolutely amazing, so check that out. I will leave it linked up here for you guys if you want to go and see that. Oh, let's do a close up on the makeup look. You know I gotta get my fucking palms like that, right? really really hope you enjoyed watching if you did please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe if you haven't already that would be absolutely freaking amazing i have totally enjoyed doing this and i can't wait to sort of like get better at doing makeup videos and makeup looks and stuff so thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye i've been up for 40 hours straight dosing up dosing i'm my kamikaze off the drain dosing up dosing